Hello, I'm Nick Lowe, a network consultant at HP Aruba Networking. In a minute, I'll introduce VSX support on the CX6300 series in AOS CX 1016-1005. I'll explain what it is, how it's enabled, and the value it brings. VSX is supported on the CX6300F and 6300M models. The feature enables two independent switches to deliver an active-active data plane at the aggregation, or core. Uplinks are split across peers, and downstream devices connect using multi-chassis lag. With any CAS gateway, hosts forward locally rather than suboptimal routing. For VXLAN, you can deploy a redundant VTEP pair for tunnel resiliency. The capability is enabled through the VSX boot profile. Selecting Profile VSX triggers a reboot and clears the start of the configuration. The switch then returns with the appropriate VSX services and commands. VSF and VSX are mutually exclusive at boot, so select the correct profile before configuration. Key outcomes for customers include higher availability through active active forwarding, a rapid recovery, live upgrades with minimal traffic impact, a smaller failure domain than VSF stacking because each switch retains its own control plane. Investment protection by enabling HA on existing 6300F and 6300M models. And simplified L2 and L3 designs with reduced spanning tree complexity. For implementation details, configuration sequence, best practices, and troubleshooting, please refer to the detailed TOI session, which will be posted shortly. That concludes the preview. VSX on CX6300 delivers core-grade resiliency on widely deployed platforms. Thank you for your time. For real-world deployment insights and design patterns, please join the HP Aruba Networking Airheads community. I'm Nick Lowe. See you in the TOI.